If you were a vegetable, you would be a cute cucumber. Really adorable. That's what I'm going for. I would be a worse, worst pickup artist. My move, honestly. I'm not one for lies or deception. What I say is what I mean. I'm the same way. So be honest with me. What are you thinking? I'm thinking that your ex is crazy and too blind to see what he's missing. Missing after one night, I can already see you are hilarious, charming, and so gorgeous that it's hard to look away from you. But when I look at you for long, I find myself getting distracted by what? By just how pretty your lips and how badly I want to kiss. I'm sorry. I don't think I can. I understand. You see, the colors begin to shift in the sky. Usually you love watching the sunrise, but today it makes you oddly sad. I wish tonight wouldn't have to end. Liam absently draws a girl on your skin, making you shiver. Right now, I kind of wish I had the ability to freeze time. That sounds like a line straight out of one of your romance movie. You seem to know a lot about me, but I don't know too much about you. I don't know your career, your hobbies. I don't even know your name. Well, promise you won't laugh. Cross my heart and hope to die. When I was younger, I used to hate my name. My best friend Kira and I came up with a new name. For an entire year, I made a people call me Mina. I think Mina is an adorable name. Suits you. I would tell you more, but is it more romantic if I remain a mystery? I wouldn't want to disappoint you with the truth. Somehow I have trouble believing I would be disappointed. But if you want to remain a mystery, I won't force you. I will remember you as a beautiful, organized artist with a contagious smile. I am not an artist. You will be. Come, sit with me. <coughs> He draws you close into his arms, holding you in a soft embrace that makes you shiver. Every place where your bodies come in contact feels like sparks. Close your eyes to his arms and let your eyes fall shut. His embrace is like a bed of flowers, and you feel like you are floating. Before you know it, you are drifting off into a warm, dreamless sleep. What a nice dream! I almost don't want to wake up. Why can I smell the ocean? Did I really just spend the night with Liam's letter? You stay down, and Liam's sleeping form had the spinning. You are the organized, predictable girl with a legit ten years dream. You aren't the girl who goes to spontaneous adventures with celebrities. Oh no 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 no! I'm late for work. I don't want to leave without saying goodbye. I don't have time to write a note. I need to get to work. I have never been this exhausted exhausted in my life. Busy today. Do any flavors days restore king? Why are you looking at me like that? How can you think about ice cream at a time like this? It's pretty easy considering we work at an ice cream shop. You went home with Liam freaking slatter. Speak up. I don't think aliens from the next dimension here can hear you. Not that time. Tell. Tell me everything. Is he as charming as he looks in interviews? Is he hotter in person? Oh, he dropped my word. I have to ask though. Is it weird that he stayed in character the entire time? He was method acting as an Irish plumber. I'm just messing with you. We didn't sleep together. So then, why were you out all night? After I literally fell for him, we ended talking light all night. We went to the Hollywood sign and climbed to the top. I told him that my dreams about artists, you never tell. There was just something special about him. I thought I could tell him. I swear, I fell half in love with him. But Liam is just a fantasy. He's a celebrity. He doesn't want to be with me. I wouldn't be so sure of that. But, uh, what do you mean? 
met my Cinderella last night and behind a glass slipper. Is he calling me his Cinderella? You always said you wanted a fairy tale. There is already thousands of comments from girls claiming to be his Cinderella. But they are lying. Good thing he doesn't want them. He wants you. You know what he means? He's reaching out of you. You have to respect. He probably won't even see my marriage. It probably won't be worth the disappointment. The next day. Rise and shine, sleeper head. What's got you looking so cheaper? Well, since you didn't sit all a date with Lam, I took matters into my own hands. You did? Thanks to me, you are meeting him in two hours. Are you kidding? You are amazing. I just wish I had something cuter, but Jensen won't give my clothing back. I didn't believe you would rot her ex is holding your clothes. Is that his old shirt? But it was the only thing that was clean. There's no way I'm letting my bestie go on a date looking like that. Come with me, I know what to do. I don't need any new clothes. Are you sure? You look so gorgeous in the costume world mode. There's nothing wrong with basic clothing. That's true. Do you remember my gold necklace with the stars and crowns? Of course I do. Didn't you say it about your loot? Good luck. I used to wear it on every first date. Except my first date with Jensen and we both knew how that tempt. Where is it now? Jensen's house along with the rest of my stuff. If Jensen thinks he can mess with my best friend, he has another thing coming. We are going over there to get the rest of your clothing and your lucky necklace. I just don't think I can face him again so soon. I totally understand. Excuse me? Wait, is that... Oh, oh, is something trying to make a move on your Prince Charming? Uh, find out in the next episode of Almost Central.